Hey everyone! In this quick tutorial I would like to show you how to create dynamic vibrating objects like for example a phone vibrating on a table in Cinema 4D. A vibration of course could be achieved with the vibrate tag. The problem with the vibrate tag however is that it overrides dynamics and as such does not respond to other objects and their dynamics. So the problem in that case would be if we have multiple vibrating objects they will clip into each other. The way I solved this was by using a rigid body tag on the obje objects that are supposed to vibrate in combination with the turbulence tag that is affecting these rigid bodies as a force. Let's quickly set this up. So, as you can see I have a few smartphones here and I want them to vibrate on the wooden surface. The reason I apply the rigid body tag only to the null and not to every individual phone mesh is so I can edit their dynamics all at once because this way the rigid body tag is to apply to everything that is within the null. Um, so let's quickly put this rigid body tag on the phone null which now will be applied to all the phones in there and hit play. Let's see what happens. And as we can see they fall right through our wooden surface. This is of course not what we want. So now um, that our phones respond to gravity we will make sure that they will also respond to the plane. And the way we do that is by adding a collider tag to our plane. That way our plane will not be affected by gravity however all rigid bodies and, and soft bo bodies if we had any will interact with this plane and crash into it. Let's hit play and see what that looks like. Now we can see they are properly lying on the table. Great. So the next step is we want to make our phones vibrate. And before we do that let's talk about scale and dynamics quickly. It will become very important later when we actually apply the turbulence. So in the Cinema 4D um, default objects we have this mannequin and this mannequin is 180 centimeters high. So as you can see these smartphones are much much larger than in reality. Uh, the reason for this will become apparent later but I want you to keep this in mind. So now we're going to add the turbulence. For that we will go to Simulate, Forces, Turbulence. And now we have to actually make sure that our phones recognize this turbulence as a force. So we click into the rigid body tag in the force tab and in force mode we drag the turbulence and it's set to exclude. We want to include it however so we click on include. And now we'll go over my exact settings for the turbulence. The strength is by default at 5 centimeters. I've set it to 0 0.5. The uh, scale is 0%. I leave it at 0%. The frequency is at 100%. I set it to 0%. The mode I use force. So now let's see what happens. Now we see we have this slight vibration and of course we can tweak with it if we want it to be stronger, weaker. Um, and now I want to come back to size. So let's see why size is so important. So now I'll drop this figure back in there. I'll take one of the phones and I will change its size to be um, approximately the size of a real smartphone. So this looks okay. And now let's see what happens if I hit play. We see it just goes off into the horizon. That is why um, scale of the objects is important. So um, if you're encountering issues with your uh, simulations, maybe see if the size of your objects could be the problem. So let me quickly reverse this. Okay, 
So um, yeah, that's the basic setup. You can stop the video here if you only cared about getting this effect. Now I will go into the uh, turbulence parameters if you care. So let's go over them. What is strength? Strength basically only refers to how strong the turbulence effect is. It goes from zero till infinity. So you can set this as high as you want to. Um, the scale is from zero till infinite percent. And what does scale refer to? What is becoming bigger or smaller? Um, first of all, if we just leave this at zero percent, a, ran a random velocity is applied to every single object. Any other value will affect the three dimensi dimensional noise of the turbulence. So the turbulence basically just is a three dimensional noise. If you don't know what that is, look it up. I believe uh, most of you would have been uh, familiar with noises um, in relation to Cinema 4D. So the turbulence also is such a noise field. And um, the scale refers to the scale of this noise field. And uh, a higher scale means there is a larger noise, and a smaller scale means there is a smaller noise. If the noise is smaller, the, ra the movement will be more random. If the noise is larger, the movement will be more homogeneous. Then we have the frequency which is a parameter that can't be set to negative to um, positive infinitely. So negative uh, infinite percent and positive infinite percent. And if this is set to zero, the aforementioned noise remains constant. If it's unequal to zero, then uh, it will change. Lower values will change the noise more slowly, whereas higher values will change the noise more rapidly. And uh, that wraps this little effect up. And uh, we can quickly also put a sphere here to quickly show that it's actually dynamic. So I'm also going to apply a collider body tag to this. And then if I hit play, I can move it. And you can see the phones react to each other and the sphere react to the phones. Yeah, that's it.